The time has finally come. I'm at Italy, Toronto, and it is 50,000 square feet made of Italian food dreams. Now, I cannot wait to eat and explore. My mouth is already watering. This is a place you really need to divide and conquer because it is so huge. So right now we are in the marketplace. You could shop for things like produce, cheeses, meats, pastas, cookies, all the good stuff. And the best part is there's actually two bars here in Italy. So you can order a nice glass of wine or a cocktail and drink it while you shop. So, you know, it alleviates some of the stress. So aside from the marketplace, a lot of other cool segments that are included here include cooking classes, there's a gelato bar, there's a cafe. So pretty much anything that has to do with food is here. There are four restaurants here in Italy, and each of them specializes in something different. So for example, pasta, pizza, or seafood. So really, depending on your mood, you can decide which restaurant you want to dine in. So I'm going to have a little chat with the executive chef, Rob, about your restaurant options. So Trattoria Milano is a celebration of all the things Northern Italy with a focus on Milan. So we really wanted to kind of celebrate what Northern Italy had and showcase how different it is from the rest of Italy. The difference between this restaurant and the, the other experiences at Italy are that um, you're kind of tucked away, away from all the action. Um, there's a little bit, little elevated level of service. The menu is more focused, designed to um, kind of take your time and really order multiple dishes just to get a full experience. We have a great cocktail list, the uh, wine list that, that really kind of encompasses showcases the the food as well so it's really as much as you feel that you're in Italy it's also a totally new experience There are a lot of seafood options to choose from, but in my opinion, by far the most impressive is this dish right here. Boop. It's a whole grilled fish. So this is grilled pickerel. Um, I know it's kind of odd that I'm eating it by myself because it's meant to be shared, but gotta live your best life. So it's really, really buttery. That's what I loved about it. And the cool part is there's also a seafood um, counter that you can go visit. So they have everything there from prepared foods like crab cakes, you can get squid, you can get oysters, and you can also choose your own fresh fish to take home and then cook. And the nice part about eating here is the experience of getting the same fish that they have at their counters. They actually cook that in their restaurants. So you're getting like the freshest of fresh. If you want more of a hands-on experience, you can get that at their cooking school. And they teach you how to make everything from pizza to pasta to tiramisu. Honestly, I'm in a lazy mood today, so I'm just gonna grab mine to go. We're inside Biroteca, which is Italy's brew house, which they've done in partnership with Indie Ale House. So it's actually a sit down restaurant. You can enjoy a nice meal here, drink some beers. And behind me, this is where they actually brew their own batches as well. So the nice part about this is you can grab beers, take it home, just like a lot of the different segments here. It's a grab and go kind of feel. And they also offer exclusive foods here. After you've eaten everything, you can eat even more food in the form of dessert. So they have a gelato bar here. There's also a cannoli station and you can see them actually stuffing your cannolis and you can pick your toppings. Like for example, chocolate chips if you really want to personalize things. So um, today I got the hazelnut and pistachio gelato. Usually I'm into sharing with people, but I think this one I'm going to keep to myself. 